scoring, and, and Smitty and GA, you know this, it's tough when your top guys are out the game. Your MVP is out the game. We always say next man up. Well, sometimes it's not easy to look to the bench for Michael Malone and say next man step up. But he's been around the NBA a long time. He has a few little wrinkles he's going to try to throw at the Milwaukee Bucks tonight. But they have to make some shots early because we know they're the walking infirmary. It is, Smitty, when you look at this Denver team, is there any hope on the horizon, you know, in terms of some of their studs getting back soon? We know that uh, the Joker's kind of day-to-day, but any long-term prospects for guys like Jamal Murray and, and obviously Michael Porter Jr.? Well, obviously, Jamal Murray is still recovering from his knee injury from last year, doing better, working hard. We know he's a fierce worker, but it's been a while before he comes back. Uh, Michael Porter Jr., we know he's uh, visiting a back specialist. It's going to be a while before he gets back on the court. But the Joker is day-to-day. I talked to him as we got done working out before the game today. He wanted to play tonight, but he wanted to be a little more cautious, maybe in Miami in a couple of days, give him a couple of days off, let that wrist heal up so he can get back on the floor because they need him desperately. Uh, 3D, you said it best. Uh, there's next man up there's no next MVP up and I think that's why the Denver Nuggets is struggling and then you have a Jamal Murray Abbas arguably their second best player and third best player Michael Porter Jr. but I want to ask you about uh, who will play tonight Aaron Gordon you know has stepped up I would say as far as the scoring he's kind of the number one option can you talk about his new role now without those guys oh great question Smitty I just saw him in the in the hallway and I was messing with him I said hey Aaron I know how it feels to leave Orlando. I used to be in Orlando back in the day, and they shipped me out of there too. So he was smiling, Smith, because Coach Michael Malone wants him to play defense. He's, uh, you know, stellar on defense. They're going to put him in the conversation of defensive player of the year early in the season. But now tonight, with not a lot of offense on the floor, he can revert back to the old Aaron Gordon where he can shoot the ball a little bit more, look for his offense, but make sure he brings that defense intensity early in the ball game. Dennis, we all know how important Giannis is to the Milwaukee Bucks, but he's got two other stars with him. In fact, when Chris Middleton, Drew Holiday, and Giannis all played their 7-0, and here is the specific look at Chris Middleton. How much has his game evolved, and how important is he to this Bucks team? Oh, he's very important, Steph. I had a chance to talk to him as well before the ball game as he was shooting around. I had to ask him, I said, I know you had COVID. Can you share with me so I can share with our fans what you went through and how long it took you to get your feeling back? And he said it literally took him a week to really get his legs back. And then mentally, when he got back on the floor with his teammates, they said it took him a couple days to really find the feel of basketball again. So Chris Milton back on the floor, the way he shoots the basketball, yes, he's a champion. He's very important to be on the, on the floor, and he's happy to be back here on this road trip. 3D, uh, yes, Chris Milton's been out. You have Drew Holiday out, but uh, Brooke Lopez has been out, and there is a guy, Bobby Portis, has really stepped up his game, career highs, and you know, pretty much across the board in minutes, points, and rebounds. Can you talk about the job he has done with the absence of Brooke Lopez? Bobby, Bobby, Smitty, Bobby, <laughs> Bobby, Bobby. Come on, man. We know what Bobby Portis went through when he was in Chicago. He's basically resurrected his career. He's a champion now. Coach Bud believes in him. The teammates believe in him. I said, Bobby, do you want to start? you want to come off the bench? He goes, wait a minute. I'm playing behind the Greek freak. I'll come off the bench. But more importantly, Smitty, you'll love this. The coaching staff believes in him late game situations. That's why you see him on the floor in the fourth quarter. Bobby, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, you know, Dennis, you look at this Milwaukee team, all the issues they had early with all the injuries, and now five-game winning streak seems like all is, is well there. What's been the biggest key besides the help for them kind of getting back on track? Well, I think we all know what Bud Ball is. It's ball movement. Giannis attacking the paint and finding three-point shooters. So now you have your first-tier guys back. So now those three-point shots are going in, and now their defensive prowess is coming back. That's what Bud talked about, having everyone healthy, playing the right way, playing Bud ball. Dennis, Scott, we appreciate you so much. We're so excited that center court is back, and you are live and on location. And just one time for me, please, what do you always say? I knew, I knew it was coming, Steph. <laughs> Leave it. <laughs>